happening right now. In the meantime, a beloved family run sporting goods store is closing for good after nearly 80 years serving the local community. The owner says the pandemic has made it impossible to continue. Fox 5's Jason Sloss is in North Park Forest tonight where he talked with the owner about that difficult decision. Jason. Well, Andrew, this is very sad for the community as we hear more stories about businesses not able to make it because of the pandemic. In this case, A and B Sporting Goods, which opened during World War II. Good memories. All right, listen, best of luck. Thank you, sir. See you later. The clock has run out on A and B Sporting Goods, a shop that's been part of the North Park community for nearly 80 years. I honestly. I knew one day this was going to come. Owner Greg Schloss reopened the store back in May after the shutdown. He dipped into his savings to keep going, but in November announced he was closing for good at the end of the year. I knew as soon as the COVID thing uh, knocked out all the youth sports from five-year-old kids all the way to high school kids, and those are our customers. I knew I was going to be in trouble right away. Schloss's grandfather opened the store in 1941. Then his father, Joe, took over. Until he passed away five years ago, then Greg took over on his own after working here for most of his life. We'll stay in touch, right? Of course we will. Okay, so that would be good. Over the past month, customers like Hazel Carr have come in to say their goodbyes. His dad, Joe, was a coach and mentor to my children. And uh, it's really heartbreaking. The end of an era. Even though they passed away, Schloss says it's his parents who've helped him make this tough decision. I kind of could get a loud voice from both of them to get the heck out. Don't go broke trying to keep the legacy alive. Schloss says he wants to thank all the loyal customers. Many want to thank him, including a family friend who stopped by earlier this week. He told me um, that my grandpa and my dad would be proud of me, and uh, that was the best thing anybody could have ever told me. Well, he's gotten a lot of compliments and he's still open at this hour, staying open a little later tonight in case anybody wants to come by. As for what's next, he says he's not sure after coming here every single morning at 730. Uh, he's got to come up with a new routine now. Live in North Park, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. Uh, Jason, thanks. Business tough for so many people right now, certainly.